and this poem is titled, A Shadow of a Tree. Alone in a crowded forest, I begin to feel hollow. So hollow that if someone were to knock, knock, knock on my bark-covered trunk, I would scream back a reverberating echo. An echo of sadness, despair, and muffled cries for help. Over the years, the elements have worn away my tough bark, leaving me exposed and close to my descent to the forest floor. And the way the rain smooths over my leaves is the same as the tears you left me pool in the crevices of my chin. But none of this really matters, because after all, if a tree falls in the forest, and no one cares enough to know, did it really even happen? Is it still an event unseen as I begin to decay and become a home for disgusting creatures? Does this phenomena continue on unannounced when you wake your way into my forest, my home, and skin your knee after tripping over what is left of my fallen branches? Do I still not exist when you take me from my house to yours, a log cabin nestled in the nature you claim to love so much to add me to a pile of logs that were once just like me? Or are you simply collecting trophies of the trees you once claimed to love until you discovered what wood could do? Did you decide to chop me apart bit by splintering bit when you saw in my decaying rings the future you could have if you simply set fire to my heart and basked in the warmth my burning eyes provided? It has taken me so long to grow something out of the ashes you left me in. And although I may never be a beautiful full oak tree again, I promise you, I will not be the wood that keeps you warm either. <laughs>